International Monetary Fund has backed Rwanda's planned eurobond on the grounds that there's enormous appetite for that kind of risk and debt among international investors. The country plans to issue a debut $400 million eurobond on Thursday this week. That's about 48 hours or so from now. Out of the money, $120 million will be used to repay an outstanding loan on the Kigali Convention Center, as well as retiring another outstanding loan that was to acquire the finance of the expansion of the national carrier Rwanda. Rwanda becomes the first East African country to issue the bond after Kenya postponed a planned billion-dollar eurobond to get the March elections out of the way. Still on matters to do the fund, the Bretton Woods Institution is warning Ghana that its ballooning wage bill, if left untamed, will raise debt to levels that will pose a risk to the transformation agenda in that country. In a recent country report, the IMF notes that Ghana's wage bill went up by 47% last year following the implementation of a new policy for public sector workers. It shows some salaries being doubled. The IMF has called for an audit of the 2012 payroll, observing that wage payments were twice the level included in the supplementary budget last year. The IMF's warning comes at a time when trade unions are lobbying for better conditions and market-related incomes as well. And we've certainly seen a similar debate going on with the fund and the Kenyan government in the last couple of years. The Banking Association of South Africa in the meantime, BASA as it's better known, which represents the country's lenders and its members, may implement changes to unsecured lending rules by May this year. Kas Kuvadia, the managing director of BASA, said that the association wanted to have new rules in place by next month. The rules will mainly deal with lending affordability and garnishing of workers' salaries when loans are not repaid. South Africa's National Treasury and the banking lobby group agreed late last year to tighten lending rules after a number of consumers with bad credit rose to a record high. Additionally, a rise in loans not backed by assets also led to concerns that a credit bubble could potentially be developing. The country's national credit regulator reported unsecured loans granted in the fourth quarter went up at least 2% to some $2.8 billion from September to December last year.